you are still watching Wave. World Liver Day is observed on April 19 in order to raise awareness about liver-related diseases. The liver is one of the most complex organs in the human body and it plays a pivotal role in our body's immunity, digestion and metabolism. Plus, it also carries out the filtration of toxins, stores vitamins and minerals and produces bile among other functions. So you can overemphasize the importance of liver. I, my, my, my friend's mom actually died because she had a liver. Mm -hmm. she, and it's not like she used to drink alcohol or anything. You know, they say if you drink a lot of alcohol, she just she had an, I think, enlarged liver or something. Mm -hmm. I remember her tummy was just, we're really young. Her tummy was just growing bigger and then that was it. things that could cause it. Um, I, I think there was a recent, you know, Aproko doctor, mm -hmm. you know, he mm -hmm. always like puts out Talks educational about, videos. Yeah. So in, I think the most recent one, yesterday or two days ago, he said that you people that you are busy buying detox tea, mm. you are busy doing this. You don't know that your liver and your kidney, so. they are yes. there for a reason yes. to detoxify your body for you. So mm -hmm. sometimes we think we're trying to do something, we're probably doing another thing, mm -hmm. mostly when people self-medicate. But mm -hmm. I mean, it's great for people to focus on, on you know, their health. Today is the day focused on, you know, world your liver. world liver day. So yeah. just try as much as you can to be healthy, go for your checkup. Have, I mean, HMOs are there, you can always use them to go get your frequent checkup, but it's really important. So we have to stay alive. I know, right? Very important. Yeah. Okay, Jennifer, what did you find in the news today? A 21 year old Nigerian woman dupes German lover of 101 million naira in romance scam. So this German man met this um, 21 years old Nigerian woman on Instagram and they, they got talking. So as conversation kept on, you know, progressing, she decided that, um, they both decided that it was time to meet, but um, she couldn't go abroad to meet him. She, she has been trying to get him to come to Nigeria. And as time went on, I think the romance got to a point where they decided, okay, I think um, the next step will be for us to get married, which seemed like she was the one pushing, pushing. pushing for it. And he bought into the idea now, um, what she said was that he should sell off his properties and sell different things that he had in Germany. And then he sent the money down, them, down to her so she can use it to purchase a home for them. So that when he comes to meet her people, they can get married and it will also be an apartment or a house where they could live in. And yeah. What? <laughs> she gave him one of her Fidelity Bank accounts, and which was funded with that. But I think as time went on, he was able to find out that she was actually trying to dupe him and she has a spa i don't want wow. to call the name of the spa but i'm sure you can just go to vanguard um mm -hmm. vanguard's website to get that information at 21 21 wait 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 hold on what this story when i saw the headline i, I didn't read the real story mm. right i thought maybe maybe all this yahoo boys yeah were that's what to i thought front. too no what she was she the did one herself. she did it herself sister girl she did it herself <laughs> i didn't want i I mean, I'm very, I'm very surprised and shocked that um, things like this still happen where you're having a full-blown relationship, relationship with yeah. somebody that you've actually not, not really seen. met. Like so I think maybe, I, I can't remember, but I think he probably came to Nigeria to meet her people. But it might not be her people. Mm -hmm. Probably they just mm -hmm. decided yes, to form and say, okay, yes, we are your family mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Just because I think he was being very skeptical about yeah. the entire arrangement. So she's like, oh, yeah, why not come and meet my people? I mean, it's easier for him to come here than for her to actually go to Germany. Yeah. So he probably come, he'll meet her people. It seems like, oh, it seems very legit. She has family members, mm -hmm. so why not? And I mean, that was why he probably was able to trust her <laughs> enough to be able to sad. send her that amount of money. But then that's very weird. That's horrible. That's sad. And, and sadly, we have a plus one in the demon and the demon and the heartbreak guys. Because <laughs> this guy, we know. This is how they start. <laughs> now you're going to be like, I'm Nigerian. I'm saying Nigerian. Then you're not women. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that, that's, okay. that's horrible. That's not good. I don't know, what did you find for us in the news? Well, my own news, my own news is kind of similar. So, alleged, so there's a um, POS operator in Quara State, Ilori, who was I mean his account was erroneously funded with two hundred and eighty million naira. <laughs> and my so guy this my guy went on a shopping spree. Hey he actually spent the money lavishly and when they eventually saw him <laughs> he was he's not in the in jail. He's been apprehended. 
because he, he was really spending that money. Because mm -hmm. for me, I'm like, if somebody transfers money to your account erroneously, how? Mm -hmm. How do you spend it? Top, it's not even <laughs> 5 million or 10 200 million. 200 and something. 280 million naira. Million. That's and stupid. the comment section on, on this, on this um, news was really funny because people were just saying, oh, you're not smart. Why are you not know? But first of all, what is wrong is wrong. The money is in yours. It was erroneously transferred, and this is not even a good time for him because apparently he's a Muslim. Oh, no. and you know this is Ramadan. Ramadan yeah. You know you're fasting, you're praying. Huh. So I'm sure maybe in his head he's like, oh God, has answered my prayer. <laughs> <laughs> and but my head I money, need but to I understand how they were able to transfer 280 million naira. I mean, even if you go to the bank it's to do such, do yeah, you can't do it from your mobile. Just once, yeah, yeah, to transfer that amount of money, you need to do it Just from the bank. Mm -hmm. So even, even if you even if you go to the bank to do such, the the cashier mm. or whoever did that for you has to actually confirm those details. So this story is not it's there's not straight, straight, there's it's not straightforward. There's so probably yeah. something that they are not saying. Yeah. Yeah. Please help us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's know the truth know. about what's going help on. Help us. Help us. Two hundred eighty million. Where are you people getting this money from? Who is the person? Ah. Reveal yourselves. Show yourself. <laughs> it's like it's really disappointment yeah. today because even my own story is about a disappointment oh. too. So a US-based Nigerian woman returned home with the hope of meeting a two-story building project she had asked her brother to oversee. Mm. However, she met an uncomplete, uncompleted building in a waterlogged area. And she said she had spent she had sent home a lot of money for them to carry on with that project, only for her to come back and meet uncompleted building in a swamp. Now she's not even sure if what she even saw is actually her building mm. because now it has now turned to story. She has asked Obina. So Obina is the person that she put in charge that she was sending money back oh, home to. And she said what's even more painful for her is the fact that she actually gave the guy extra money. Just, you know, for his inconveniences in quotes. Okay. And Okay. Pretty sad. Pretty, really pretty like, sad. Pretty sad. I can imagine how painful this is. That is that the building be behind yeah, her? Yeah, that's the building behind her. Oh, no. This uh -uh. I think this is what was she, tra what she trying to build? Is this another person? Because there was another lady last week or so that complained. This about is another. This is very this is recent. Another, wow. So it's like this is really. It, it, how are you build, having a building project? Anyway, there are a couple of um, people in diaspora. What would they do? Why are we going to talk about that yeah. part? Because right now, I know that there are a couple of um, fintechs and startup mm -hmm. companies that are building, you know, applications to help people Be like this. Yeah, because I was just I going to say that. I want to build that. a house. Mm -hmm. I have hundred million. Yeah. I don't know who a bricklayer is. I don't know, know an where. architect. I don't know anything. Yes. These people are going to create from start to finish mm. for you, and all you need to just do is that's a bright your idea. Do you get? Because this kind of thing, this is this is just it happens. Market. It's been happening since I was a child. Yeah. I remember my father's friends used to complain about things like that. Yeah. Yeah. That they sent money home and then they Family came back. That you don't see that, the yeah. house or you know they squandered the but money that, or something. Me, I feel like how wicked can you actually be? Ah, people are heartless. Very and heartless. if you take the money now, he didn't use it to do anything reasonable. Meaningful. That's the thing. That's pretty. So sad. you can imagine how disappointed this woman must have felt. How she will be in so much, so much pain. That's pretty sad. And they said she, she said she's worked in America for over forty years. Wow. She has worked different jobs, sending paycheck to her brother. Wow. And the Obina is actually her brother. This is unfair. Okay. So see that. This is completely unfair. Easy, please. Can you also take your um, what's in the news as well? Because uh, I hear that's something that is trending now. So we'd love to hear that. Okay. My, my what's in the news was uh, it has to do with an accident that happened today, earlier today. And it was between a commercial bus and a BRT bus. And it was a collusion, basically, at IFACO. And it was so bad mm. because one there was a fatal um incident uh, the driver actually died on the spot Ooh. and you know people are so angry right now um immediately the hoodlums around actually just descended on the on the what's it called the bus the, the bus, bus, bus and fire. burnt it mm. immediately and this caused the reactive um uh, what's it called a reactive um, interaction basically between the individuals who were affected, the victims who were affected, because we also had individuals who were burnt, uh, so who, who were injured in the accident. 
and hoodlums, you know, like I stated earlier, hoodlums actually burnt the bus because somebody died in the accident. Lastman said that there is a reason for us to look at it from the perspective that there was excessive, um, excessive speed. That was the reason why on both sides of the, from both parties, the bus driver and with the RT bus as well. So that must have, must have been the reason why there was a collusion um, and it caused the accident. However, you know that there was a recent incident on the train. So I think that there is a need for us to also look at it from the perspective that Lagos State has a lot to do with training the bus drivers yeah. who are actually plying these roads. Mm. There should be um, an avenue for them to um, test how they are recruited, look at how the they if they are actually on drugs or something when they are actually you know plying the roads because there was a time they actually conducted a test and they found out that practically all the drivers out of about 40 of them they had about 30 30 or 39 actually who were actually high on drugs so i think it is it is about time that the lagos state government actually takes this by the horn and you know puts the individuals who are actually plying the road and the and the drivers who are actually plying the road and carrying people in their buses to um to question to ask them questions about how they're actually doing their job i think yeah that's what it just boils down to training nigeria is the only yeah. country where you can get up and just do whatever it is without proper training but yeah this is the conversation for another day <laughs> okay let's come to it that's what we're talking about investments to the alternative investments and thankfully we have a guest who is an expert on this subject matter okay when we come back from the break with further conversation see you after the break